it is another hot one today hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing another valentine's day makeup look this one will be a little bit more on the glam side so it's going to be a bit more intense probably something you'd wear to like a party themed festival if you want to you can wear it on a date it'd be pretty extravagant but it'll be a lot of fun as well but yeah, I thought it would be something different and fun to do since I do like doing the more dramatic side of things kind of looks. Since I do like doing the more kind of dramatic look, I think this would be a lot of fun. So yeah, let's get to it, shall we? So I'm not going to do my skin today. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. I've done it already in another Valentine's Day tutorial, so I might just link that one. In the video, I'll just do the eyes. I'm not doing the skin first either because we're using tape to get a kind of nice structured kind of line. Hold on a sec, maybe I should do my brows first. But that would be a good idea, yeah. So I'm back. Okay, now my brows are on. Let's go on with the eye makeup. So, in like Essentially, essentially. So initially I'm going to prime my eyes with my long wear paint pot from MAC. Of course you guys can use whatever you would like. There are so many different eye primers out there. And you can also use concealer if you prefer that as well. I'm just going to take my soft ochre paint pot. And this is just creating a nice tacky base for the eyeshadows that we're going to apply on top. And it will help them really, really stand out just because it's neutralized any redness, discoloration, veins, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so next we're going to grab a bit of tape. I'm going to go in with just your usual scotch tape. And I just apply it to the back of my hand to de-stickify it a little bit. And then line it up toward the corner of my brow. Or like the tail of my brow, sorry. So corner of the eye the tail of the brow basically boom <laughs> also I want to have like three little hearts like along the brow but I don't want them like, covered in eyeshadow so what I'm actually going to do is just stick down three of these tiny little hearts on both eyes just on the outer corner of my eye area with some eyelash glue and then when I, I apply eyeshadow over the top it'll kind of do the same thing that the tape's doing, just keep the eyeshadow off that area so it actually creates like a, I don't know how to describe the look, just like three heart shapes in the eyeshadow. Mm, I hope this works. Okay, for the initial transition shade, I'm going to take this kind of blushy pink shade from the Aspen Ovard Tarte Collaboration Palette. Any kind of like light pink muted rosy tone will do and i'm just applying it through my crease with a 221 soft crease brush being super cautious and like soft around the heart so, so i don't like flick them off or anything just like that just like a little soft transition next moving on to a more pinkier tone i'm grabbing this gorgeous like bright pink shade from the chi chi pride palette and just placing that again through the outer crease area And I like to just kind of pack that pigment over the heart areas just to really make sure it's getting in between those hearts individually. And I'm bringing it about two thirds of the way across. Trying to make sure it stays focused in this crease area just because if we bring it up too high it's hard to blend out any harsh lines or edges so it looks like you've kind of brought it all the way up to the brow. It's not as flattering as if you have a bit more of a gradient going on. And there's a bit of a transition into the pink, if that makes sense. And I'm just dipping into these two kind of pinky shades with that initial fluffy brush from Zoeva and just blending out the edges of this pink. Okay, so next we're going to bring in a deeper, more ready, burgundy kind of shade. So I'm going to grab this shade right next to the pink one we used before. And on a more petite crease brush, I'm going to pack this shade right in the outer corner. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Bitten and apply that through the outer crease and all over my lid as well. It's a beautiful like wine kind of red shade and I'm just packing it all over my lid. Right up to the crease area. 
Then I'm going to take a little bit of curtain call, which is this beautiful, like, shimmery, foiled, ready, whiny eyeshadow. I could not pick a word for it. And I'm placing that all over my lid as well, where we place Bitten down. Don't know if you can see the difference. It's just so beautiful, this, like, curtain call shade. Mm. It's so Valentine's Day appropriate. So beautiful. And just going in with a bit of bitten to just soften the edges of curtain call just a little bit. And just because I want to be a little bit more extra, I'm going to apply this beautiful, like, rosy tone shimmer from the Chi Chi palette on the very center of my eyelid. Mmm, that is so delicious. Oh, it's such a beautiful shimmery shade. So for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm thinking I'm going to do a white shimmer shade. I think I might actually go in with this white shimmer from the Folklore Travel Palette. It's in the shade WA. I'm going to apply that to my inner corner and brow bone. And I'm just using a classic shader brush to apply this. Just because I want to kind of blend it a little bit as I go. So this line isn't so harsh up here. And just dabbing it onto this inner corner a bit. Just this very inner point. Gosh, this is a gorgeous shade. Oh. Okay, so for winged liner today, I'm going to take my Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner from Maybelline. And just do like, you know, your typical wing. I love the tape for this reason, because literally it just makes it so much easier to draw on the wing. And then over top, I think I'm going to take some of this uh, glittery side um, from my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in the shade Topaz Twinkle and just apply that over the top of that liquid liner. Okay, that is the glitter liner applied over the top. I didn't do like the most neatest job of it, but it's on there. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to leave it like that. It'll look a lot more neater too when I cut, take the tape off and everything. But I might do that after I apply lashes. So the lashes I've chosen to go with today are the Iconics from House of Lashes. I just think they're so complimentary with this look. They won't cover too much of the eyeshadow, but they're like dramatic enough that you can still see them and add a bit of drama to this like Valentine's Day look. So I'm now going to peel off the tape, which I swear is the most satisfying bit of like any look. I just love doing this. Oh yeah. And you're left with a nice, like crisp, defined line. Oh yes. Mm. Lucky I did my eye makeup first because I have a lot of fallout. Like all of this redness is eyeshadow. <laughs> So I'm going to also peel off the Love Hearts. I actually don't think it was too effective. I think the eyeshadow has gotten underneath them. But I have a plan B if that were to occur. Oh, that's not too bad. Let me zoom you in so you can see it a little bit closer. They're more just like little circles at the moment. Oh, that one worked. Oh, that one's so good. <laughs> So I just reapplied the hearts because it didn't really turn out as good as I would hoped. Like the when you peel them off, I feel like if you had like stickers or something like that, they would work a lot better with that technique. But I thought I'd try it out. It like kind of gives the same vibe, just not as like that kind of stamp kind of look which I was going for. Okay, so I'm back. I just quickly did my base. If you do want to see this foundation routine, then I will make sure to leave it linked up above in the cards and down below in the description box, um, the video. I did a Valentine's Day more like wearable makeup look and I did the foundation routine in that. So I'll make sure to leave that link down below and up above for you guys. Got your back, girl. Okay, so continuing on with the eyes. So I want kind of like a burgundy in the waterline so I might apply a white and then an eyeshadow over top just to really make it pop and stand out it's like having a white cream base for eyeshadows it just makes them stand out more and then next going in with that Chi Chi burgundy shadow I'm going to apply that along 
my waterline. I feel like eyeshadows are so good because they do actually like last longer than some eye coals. Like if you wanted to make your eye coal last a lot longer in your waterline, apply a similar coloured eyeshadow over top to set it. It's like setting your face with powder. But in saying that, if you guys have like really sensitive eyes or you're not like used to applying eyeshadow to your waterline, please don't do it because it's going to make your eyes react in water like a waterfall. I learned that the hard way when I first began out with makeup. Damn, that's such a pretty shade. Ooh. And I'm also just going to wiggle that shade tightly against my waterline just on the outer third of the eye. Kind of just dragging it down a little bit. Then so grabbing these two peachy pink shades and mixing it in with some of this pinky shade. I'm just going to blend out that like burgundy shade. And then finally grabbing some of this like skin colour peachy shade. I'm going to buff out any harsh lines or edges on the bottom lash line with a like fluffy petite crease brush. And then finally going in with just some mascara on my bottom lashes. So for lips, you could definitely go with a like glossy nude or something like that. Of course, I want to go all out today. I want to go in with a deep burgundy shade. I think it would look so fun for Valentine's Day. I'm just going to first line my lips with like a brown eye coal. You can go in with a red, preferably. I don't have one with me at the moment. I'm just being lazy. So I'm going in with a brown. And then I'm going to take the Focalore Matte Lips Liquid Lipstick in the shade 02 Burgundy. And just fill in my lips. Oh, I actually love that so much. Because it's not too similar to the eyes, so it won't like clash too much. I mean, of course, this is very full on. This is very much a very intense glam Valentine's Day makeup look, so you don't have to do like a deep lip with crazy colourful eyes. But I think it's fun. Valentine's Day only comes by once a year. If you're going to do a party or something, then might as well go all out. I have, of course, done a more wearable, very sexy, sultry look for Valentine's Day if you guys want to check it out. But yeah. Otherwise, guys, this concludes today's Valentine's Day makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please leave a big thumbs up before you leave and subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss out on any of my vlogs, makeup tutorials, chit-chat videos, anything like that. Have an amazing Valentine's Day. I love you all so much. I'm sending you all my love and I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.